Hey Nintendo fans, and welcome back to the Toy Shop, where we take a look at all things Nintendo merchandise and collectibles to let you guys know some of the fun stuff that's out there. Today we have another Japanese import from PokeVault.com, the Japanese import Pokemon site, and they sent over a bunch of stuff from Pokemon X and Y that's out in Japan right now. Behind me, you'll see just a handful of the cool plushes that there are, but let's take a look at everything. All right, for starters, we've got a bunch of new plushes, and you guys know how I feel about plushes. I would not cover my entire couch if I didn't love them as much as I do, but uh, just a few more, the XY characters. We've got Leo, Fire Normal, Swirlix, Bunnelby, who will eventually grow fists upon these ears. Diggersby is absolutely terrifying and excellent. Maybe we'll kind of plush him sometime. And Inke, who evolves upside down. And these guys would normally excite me a lot more, but there are two plushes I am especially excited for this time around. Um, while I have everybody just defeated here. It's a work in progress trying to get this show running on this couch. Uh, it's not an even service like a table. But, um, boom! They have plushes, finally, for Mega Evolutions. We've got one for Mega Blaziken, and one you guys might have actually seen in my videos for Mega Mewtwo Y. Both of them really cool. They're actually uh, quite a bit bigger than these other plushes, but I'm just excited for all kinds of Mega Evolution merch. One, just because they're a really cool new mechanic, and two, it lets me actually get merch for character forms that we haven't seen for a while. I couldn't tell you the last time Legal Blaziken merch was even a thing, so it's extremely cool. I would like to see some more plastic figures in the future and definitely more plushes, but hey, I'll, uh, I'll take what I can get. Now, one of the things you guys were actually really excited about last time were the cases. This is the case I use on Renee's 3DS XL, specifically because she has a plain color and makes these look a lot better. I have the Pikachu one, so I guess uh, starting off, heads up, if you have a design already in your 3DS, these might not be as cool, but uh, you guys were actually really, really hyped over these, so I got a few more. We've got one design with Xerneas and Eveltal, and one with Mewtwo. As I've said, I love that the Mega Evolutions are bringing old characters back into prominence. Mewtwo, he's in again. He's just not confirmed for Smash Bros yet. Maybe, still holding out, but let's see how it looks on the 3DS. Now, one thing to note is that the Mewtwo is actually just the top cover and not the bottom one as well, but as usual, it's as simple as just snap, Gives you little holes for the camera, and boom, we have instant Mewtwo 3DS XL. Uh, Mewtwo actually looks really cool against the pink. Similar shades. I don't know. I absolutely love these. They're very cool. And I'm going to check out the other one, too. Legendaries. Activate. Boom. I think we've got it on. Going to peel the plastic off, get that nice gloss finish. And once again, these just look awesome because if you have a solid color 3DS, you've still got the color in the back. Pink in this case, might not be your color, but it still looks extremely cool. This one does come with the back case, which I just kept on from the past when we added the Kalo starters because it's exactly the same. And speaking of cases, here is a really interesting item. It's a iPhone 5 or 5S case full of X and Y characters and Pikachu. Actually really cool, I love this design. I happen to own an iPhone 5 myself, so I figured I'd check it out. Um, pretty funny to me, considering all of the uh, hate that's coming from Nintendo and their investors right now. Nintendo themselves has spoken many times saying that they don't want their games on apps, um, or as apps on the iOS. I think it would be a great business strategy to port some of their games to other platforms that so many people own. But Pokemon themselves actually do have a handful of apps. You've got like Pokemon TV where you can watch the handful of anime episodes. They have the uh, Pokedex, which I actually reviewed a long while back. But taking everything out, uh, so much inside packaging, boom. So here we've got the inside. It's actually a uh, spiping rubber, fairly hard case. Got the phone, I figure should be easy enough. Plop. Boom! So if you really want some awesome Pokemon bling, this is one of the coolest iPhone 5 cases I've seen in general. Very, very cool design. A lot of colorful X and Y characters while still having just like a general pleasant color in the back. Whole lot of fun. So yeah, um, I actually am a complete klutz when it comes to my phone, so I need like front face case 
full package otter box if I want to survive. But if you like to go with a little bit of flair and you aren't as clumsy as me, this is pretty darn cool. Next up is a really neat item that I found. It's Pokemon X and Y playing cards. Now these aren't like the trading card game cards, they're actual, you know, 52 card decks. And each of them, I'm pretty sure they have the same characters. They show them both on the back. I'll check just in case. All right, so I have got the cards, as you guys can see. Um, the only difference is the backs. You actually get one Joker of each legendary. And unlike some familiar poker decks, you actually have one different Pokemon on every single card. So all the aces are actually different. Um, you've got the Japanese name and pronunciation there. But, you know, Squirrel, there's uh, our friend right there, Bunnelby, War Turtle. So it's a nice mix of some of the original Pokemon with a lot of the new ones from Kalos. In fact, uh, you almost have all of them, considering how small of a cast Kalos was. A couple of different characters for the face cards. More starters. Esper gazes into your soul. <laughs> Figure I might as well just go through the whole deck at this point. Charizard, On Edge, Doublade, and ta-da, um, more face cards, so final evolutions. But all together, really cool, fun if you just want to play simple 52 card deck games. But if you want to play the Pokemon trading card game, I actually have some of the first X and Y merch for that as well. Boom! So in general, uh, with the Pokemon trading card game, we normally have to import this stuff Generally, that's kind of how I got into importing in the first place, is because playing the trading card game, our US stuff just isn't this cool. Simple thing, showing all the starters, and all deck boxes in Japan, easily openable, and you get two divider cards, one really cool, all close up, and one that's further back white. So if you want to separate decks, I can't remember if you can fit, I think you can fit exactly two decks here if you really pile it in. Otherwise what I like to do is I put one deck, divider, and then maybe some tech cards or other cards I'd consider putting in the deck. Things like that in the back of it. <laughs> Poor Chespin gets its, <laughs> gets its head removed once you open it. But boom, there's the design. Really, really nice. And then one of my personal favorite types of merch, if you guys have ever followed me back when I played a little bit more seriously. Don't have the time to compete all the time, but I still love collecting blingy card sleeves. It's so fun. These, uh, actually not from the Pokemon Center, but were a award given out for tournaments, are the first fairy type sleeves. Very, very cool. They, they literally say fairy type on them. But uh, there's the new fairy energy. This set is actually being released in a couple of days, wide release to North America and European regions. So. If you play the Pokemon trading card game, you should be seeing this energy soon. It's actually uh, got some really cool effects and decent Pokemon coming out in the new set. But basically, I believe this is 62 or 64 card sleeves to fit your 60 card deck. I grabbed a uh, handful of cards off my table to just sleeve them, show you guys what it looks like. It's simple enough corner in and boom pretty much everybody that plays the trading card game plays with some sort of sleeve so i figure if you're gonna have them might as well make them as cool as possible japan gets by far the coolest sleeves and last but not least are these three plush caps of the Kalo starters you got froki chespin fennekin these are absolutely adorable now one thing i've really enjoyed as a collector is that there is a huge movement of people who make either felt or crochet hats that you can wear of different Pokemon. I've got one of Hoppip that I think you guys have seen me wear a handful of times, but to finally see some official product from Nintendo is pretty cool. These are adorable, but just looking at them, I don't think it's gonna do much justice. So I'm gonna try and get the family together and we'll show you guys just how darn adorable we can be. Really? Yeah. Ta-da! We're uh, beautiful. I don't know. I don't know about what beautiful. What do you think? I know that Zoe's not a fan. She's not a fan. All right, so pro tip, don't put it on your dog. I don't think she likes chess. I don't think Chespin's her favorite. I think that's the Oh, is that it? Would you prefer that I give you Froakie, Zoe? Okay, we got this. <laughs> Look up here. Okay, so these are the hats. <laughs> I thought it'd be fun for everybody to wear. Um, they are a little bit tight, so yeah. if you have a uh, fairly large head, um, I don't know. I like they like fit? That. But they're like snug on yeah. our heads, so maybe so, like yeah. for 
a little younger. But thank you guys for watching this episode of The Toy Shop. As always, you can use the coupon code THEJWITS when you go to PokeVault.com and you'll get 10% off your order. They are an awesome sponsor sending all this Japanese import stuff. So if you like any of it, head over there and you can save a little bit in my name. But just want to thank you guys for watching today's episode and I will see you guys next time on The Toy Shop. You I'm ruin good. everything! Does she though? No. Does this look like the face of a ruiner to you?